Hey friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we'll see how to continuously run a Java program until any button like enter key is pressed uh, to stop the program. We'll do this in Eclipse. So let's begin. We'll quickly create a Java project. We can name this uh, Java project probably infinite counter. Okay. And I will leave it as Java 13. Click. I will just click finish. Wait for my okay. I don't think I'll need to. Uh, I will like to create a module, so just that's all. Now I'll create a new Java pack or uh, Java class. Better say I'll name this class as probably say infinite counter. You can name it, uh, yeah, or something different as well. I'll create, I'll make sure that I create the main method constructor. Also, it's fine. We'll just leave it and I'll just click finish. So we can see the constructor is there and the main method is there. So we'll use this main method to do our, of course, this will be the trigger from where our the program will start. So let's begin. So in this uh, program, we'll have to create two threads. One thread is the thread in which we'll create uh, our counter and it will uh, print it. And in the second thread, we will keep a track of any kind of input uh, from the user. So let's first create the first thread. So before that, first let me quickly create Infinite counter. Infinite. So I'm creating an object of this class so that we can, uh, yeah, you, you, I think I can just see, control V. Okay. No, 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 I think I should have given the semicolon outside. Now we'll create a new thread for this particular object but we have just now created so this thread could be probably thread new thread and i can use this object over here control c control v perfect okay so now we can start and stop this thread so say for example i do this start and probably interrupt yeah so whatever i do in between of this over here that's something like uh, yeah i can use this uh, between this uh, starting interrupt to control or to read the input from the user i think there's some warning so let me see what it is i think it may ask me to include uh, implement runnable, yeah, of course, uh, you can either do it manually in the class or you can just click here and it will implement runnable over here. Okay, perfect. Here it's giving some warnings. So let me say, I think it will ask me to implement the, yeah, this method. Of course, we'll need this uh, Java run method and this is the place where we will do our main operation, which is the counter. So let's do that. But before that, let me quickly create a class variable. Which could be probably volatile type boolean. Boolean. Run. So this I will of course initially put it true, and this is what we'll control over here between the threads. Uh, when we read the input from the user, we'll change it to false so that we stop our counters here. So first, let me implement this part. Then I'll get into the main part, uh, the main functionality shortly so over here what i'll do is we'll just read it using the scanner so a scanner and new scanner system dot in perfect now i will use a while loop to check the input from this scanner but before that i think there's some error here let me quickly check Okay, so import, yeah, of course, do the import, no problem. And it says, I think it's not used, so that's fine. Once we put our while loop, it will be used. Um, so we'll check whether in the scanner, it has next line, I think, next. Yeah, this is what I was looking for. So if next line is, uh, so okay i'll make it negated so until the next line is uh, pressed it's the while loop should, should keep going and the moment the next while uh, the next line which is, which is basically the enter key is pressed it should exit and over here 
I will change this uh, boolean probably control C and I'll change this boolean but that should be for this one infinite okay control C boolean run this I'll make it as false perfect that's it I guess okay now I'll get into the main run method where we'll implement some kind of counter which using which we'll see how the things keeps increasing initially we will put some kind of initial value as int i equal to say for example 0 we will start the count from 0 or uh, probably no uh, I don't want to count I will count it from 1 yeah, starting from the 1 and what else so let me just put something like system dot out dot print I don't know why it came up no problem so I just put dot print and over here in the print statement I can give some statement like uh, system no, no, no. starting the counter yeah okay now over here then we will put a, our main while loop where we will while we will keep checking whether this particular variable boolean run this is true or not so until it is true we will keep this one running and over here we can again probably bring this line control c control v probably at the end also I will put one counter a stop yeah and in, over here i'll just simply put i plus plus so i plus plus yeah so just a print one by one whatever over here and i'll i think i'll also put some kind of uh, stop or see slip command wait command so that we can see uh, okay we'll go with this milliseconds probably I can go for 500 milliseconds which is half a second I may have to uh, wrap it around try catch of course because it may throw an exception so that should be fine so that's all I guess so let me run this code and see how it happens perfect so if you see it's uh, going on to the 10 11 12 and if I press enter so it has stopped that's fine but uh, okay so here everything is coming in one line what i'll do is i'll quickly check change this print to print line yeah okay this one and similarly i'll do this for all so that it comes in a yeah, line by line perfect now i'll rerun it very quickly perfect this is how i wanted and when I press enter, it stops. To avoid any kind of such kind of logging of this, I think we can comment out this kind of the code as well, so that it looks much more cleaner. And yeah, when I press enter, it stops. Counter stop. So I just did it for four runs. So that's why I wanted to very quickly show that how easy it is. We can uh, if if something has to be looped in or uh running in a, some kind of polling way then you can use this kind of thread mechanism in java and it will keep on running until uh, some user inputs uh, some kind of key or enter stops to stop it okay so and we can also run it in a, probably some kind of no i think uh, command line so i'll show quickly how to do that so first we'll have to build this into a jar file so what we'll do is we'll export it and we can use the runnable jar file concept and over here you can name it something like uh, probably say infinite counter you can name it this jar anything it doesn't matter infinite counter and i leave everything yes no 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 wait uh fail i know why it is failed i think i should change it to uh the uh, project on which i am working right now and then i'll click finish or okay, click ok and i think it's done then I can go to my command line, command prompt, and just run it using the java dot jar 
I think my class name was infinite counter dot jar file and and if I press enter perfect so it's running as it was running in this uh, Eclipse environment is almost similar over here and uh, yeah it can keep going but I can press enter to stop it I can rerun it probably yeah so this this kind of program will be helpful if you want to run it uh, for some infinite number of times or not if infinite but at least for a very long period unless a user stops it manually so that kind of uh, execution can be done okay so that's all i hope this is useful to you i will keep the program on my website as well so you can uh, refer to that uh, over there uh, i hope this video is useful to you if you have any questions or suggestions then please put in the comment section below uh, if you like this video then